so once again i welcome all of you to clad gurukul a very warm good afternoon to all of you and uh, this time i am going to deal the passage number 2 which uh, is available in the telegram channel as well as in lms right so uh, we are bombarding lots of uh, practice sheet daily practice sheets in all these uh, resources okay now uh, moving to passage number 2 i am going to explain that what are the details and what are the questions according to the solution will also been discussed okay so this passage basically if i go through the passage it starts with the much awaited air conditioned economy a new class of train travel in india is ready for roll out as many as 27 coaches designed specifically for the class are ready and have been distributed among various zonal railways for use Durant trains under western railways and other trains originating from several parts of the country will be sporting these new ac economic coaches so once you move on with the particular with this passage you will come to know that the uh, author has tried to uh, give lots of information the author has tried to share lots of lots of information regarding indian railways what are their strategies and new economic class has already been launched so what is the impact and uh, regarding that many information uh, have been provided right now uh, it has talked about that 83 berths instead of 72 it is a new design as in ac 3 tier coaches available the railway board is in the process of deciding fares for those new coaches in comparison with the ac 3 tier railway board is still thinking that what should be the ideal price and the design has already been mentioned over here The Indian Express had last year reported the government's plans for affordable AC travel that led to the concept. So it's talking about more or less AC economic class. What are the designs? What is the pricing that is yet to be fixed up? And uh, what kind of strategy has been followed by Indian Railways regarding this particular new coach? Okay, so nothing new about it. Nothing complex is about it. It this passage is absolutely crystal clear. and uh, i have taken this passage from indian express the newspaper okay so without wasting time let us move to question number 1 in the question number 1 it is written that the main purpose of the passage uh, look students the thing is that uh, since the pattern has been changed uh, one question you can invariably uh, you can easily expect Uh, from the clad consortium that yes they are supposed to test your uh, intelligence level regarding the purpose of the passage what was the intention of the passage what was the intention of the author and what the author is trying to convey throughout the passage one question is uh, one question can be easily based on that and this is the question first option to get the people aware of the recent development on the part of the indian railways now you have to think whether the author is trying to give the information regarding the people uh, the the main intention of indian railways is to make the people aware of the recent developments option b to familiarize the passengers about the facilities to be provided by indian railways in the coming days so what are the facilities indian railways are, is uh, basically planning to be implemented in the coming future is it so option c to provide information regarding new facilities as proposed by indian railways for 3e class and also the pricing of it is it so it is, is it talking about the 3e class and also regarding the pricing or option d to provide information regarding the pricing of the 3e economy class so four different kind of options are uh, given over here now what you are supposed to do you have to find out the correct one the first option it is written to make the people or to get the people aware of the recent developments it's not talking about the recent development number of uh, developments have already been taken place so it's it's basically highlighting the economic class so option a cannot be there option b to familiarize the passengers about the facilities to be provided by indian railways in the coming days it can be why because in the coming days what are the facilities they are going to provide and that is the highlighting factor over here so option c to provide information regarding new facilities as proposed by indian railways for 3e class and also the pricing of it it's it's not all about the pricing that's why you cannot go for that option c d 
to provide information regarding the pricing of 3E class. I have already told you that the Indian Railways is not right now focusing on the pricing of that. Rather, Indian Railways is taking to the amelioration process, okay, the development process of in the coming future to be implemented. So, correct answer is definitely B. Okay, let us move to question number two. What has been the impact of AC economic class so far? Number of number of things have been implemented. Number of uh, facts and figures have already been presented by the author throughout the passage. But the thing is that at the end of the day, you need to uh, take care of this particular fact whether Indian Railways is completely satisfied with the launching of AC economic class so far or not. Option A. From the passenger's point of view, it has been a grand success. Can you consider that introduction of AC economic class has so far been a grand success? No, nothing like that has been mentioned in this particular passage. So, option A eliminated. Option B, railways realized that it was just a wrong decision. Now, after uh, a lot of discussion, Indian railways are still thinking whether that launching was fruitful or not. And at the end of the day, they have found it out that yes, it was a completely wrong decision. Nothing uh, is to be gained regarding the introduction of AC economic class so far. And it has been mentioned in this particular passage as well. Right. So, option B can be considered no issue with it. Option C, railways got an overwhelming response from the people. No, it is not mentioned. And option D, none of these. So, the correct answer is definitely option B. That is, railways realize that it was just a wrong decision. Question number 3. Which set of prepositions can replace hashtag as given in the highlighted sentence? So, one question from the each and every passage you can easily expect based on the appropriate preposition. And that is, uh, this, this question is just replicating that one. Okay. Question number 3. So, for solving of this one, uh, we need to get back to the passage so that we can identify that what is the line. The AC economic class, more births, was a failure a decade ago in the Garibra trends as it had merely inserted more middle births, just maximize occupancy, leading to passenger discomfort and complaints. Okay. So, here, uh, if I go through this particular line, the AC economic class, then hashtag is there, more births was a failure. Now, your strategy will be in the second uh, slot, after failure, there is hashtag and after that, a decade ago. So, here, we should include over, over a decade, over a period of time, it is, it happens, it is the application of appropriate preposition. So, in middle, it should be over. Now, you have to go through the option in which the second one will be over. Only one option I am finding it out, option B, that in between with and to, there is only one word that is over. In option B, it is clearly stated over there. So, from that, you should not consume a lot of time. You should not waste your time over the selection of appropriate preposition over here. So, once you are done with over, you have found it out, go for that. Option B is going to be the correct answer. Okay. And here in between it is written as over. Let us talk about question number 4. What is the tone of the author? Tone basically is uh, talking about the attitude of the author. Throughout the passage you have already come to know that uh, Indian Railways has been highlighted over here and Indian Railways has come up with its new launches, AC Economic Class. So, but author, what kind of attitude the author is possessing over here? And that is to be decided. First option, commiserating, sympathizing with the fact. Second one, indignant, means furious or angry. Is the author angry? No, nothing anger has been reflected throughout the passage. Option C, informative. You, if you go through the passage, you will come to know lots of information have already been shared. So, there is likely uh, to select this particular option, option C, because it is talking about the information and lots of information have already been disclosed by the author throughout the passage. And last one, acerbic, that is harsh. Author has not used any harsh statement over this fact. So, definitely we should select option C as the correct answer as it is 
uh, all about sharing the information, right? So the tone of the author will be informative. Last question of the passage, which of the following is an incorrect statement? So you have to find out a statement which is not correct on the basis of this particular passage. Option B, the new AC economic coaches have 83 berths instead of 72 as in the AC three tier, three tier coaches. So it is mentioned. So it should not be considered as the incorrect one. B, the railway ministry has already fixed a price which is to be implemented soon. Have you found out a particular sentence or a statement in this particular passage that uh, it has been cited as an example that Indian railways have fixed price and which is going to be implemented soon? Nothing mentioned regarding this one. Option C, factory Kapoorthala has completely redesigned the coach stepping away from the design imprint of the existing AC coaches. It is mentioned clearly. And D, Duranta trains under Western Railways and other trains originating from several parts of the country will be sporting these new AC economy coaches. It is already mentioned. So correct answer is going to be option B because it is not mentioned in this particular passage that Indian Railways has already fixed a price which is to be implemented soon. Nothing has been written there in the passage. That's why we can easily consider that yes, option B is going to be the correct answer, which should be considered as an incorrect one from the perspective of this particular passage. So I'm done with passage number two. I think there is uh, no doubt about that regarding the question and explanation. I tried, I tried to cover up all the aspects and that's all. Thank you.